Hi, good afternoon, Paul. It's Wednesday, the 1st of February. Here's a special audio discussion on Sri Lanka's economic situation with MITMA. Okay, excellent. Thanks. Go ahead. Give me a bit of an overview before uh, MITMA goes ahead. Cheers. Right. So, uh, Paul, President Ranil Wickram Senge warned that the country could face a similar crisis as it did last year if uh, reforms and the debt restructuring plans are disrupted. Some of the reforms, such as the harsher tax regime, are proving to be unpopular domestically. But in terms of the overall, overall economy and international funding, Sri Lanka is also facing challenges. Mitma, can you tell us where things stand with regards to the International Monetary Fund and Sri Lanka's creditors? Sure, they. So, uh, Sri Lanka has reached a preliminary agreement with the International Monetary Fund for a $2.9 billion rescue package over four years. However, its completion will depend on assurances on debt restructuring from countries' creditors, including China, India, Japan, the Asian Development Bank, the World Bank, and the Paris Club, which um, includes the United States and the United Kingdom. Uh, the, you know, the Paris Club is an informal group of Western credited nations. Uh, which includes a number of countries. Now, India has given its assurances to the IMF to facilitate the bailout plan, and it seems like other bilateral creditors are also in the process of issuing financial assurances. But uh, China's Export Import Bank has stated that it will provide a repayment moratorium for only two years. Now, this is instead of the 10-year moratorium recommended by the IMF. Uh, top diplomatic sources have also revealed the IMF is not satisfied with China's offer of a two-year moratorium, but yesterday the U.S. ambassador to Sri Lanka assured the Minister of Finance that financial assistance from the IMF will reach the country soon. She also went on to say that the debt restructuring program implemented by the government will garner a positive response from international creditors. Um, it is also revealed that uh, Sri Lanka's overall economic growth was minus 11% in 2022, and this could be up uh, could go up to 3.5 to 4% 4, 4 this year, according to President Ranil Vikramasinghe. So right now, it seems like Sri Lanka is likely to remain in limbo until they receive assurances from China. Okay, look, that's excellent. I mean, it seems weird that the Western world that says capitalism is the way to go is basically placing China to reduce a moratorium sorry, to increase the moratorium from two to 10 years to teach underdeveloped nation to pay it back and we'll all pressure everybody to increase that period. I'd also like to know who are the other members of the Paris Club and is it specific to Sri Lanka or is it something that provides larger countries? I'm not familiar with the Paris Club. Uh, Paul, so the Paris Club is... Uh, officials from you know major creditors countries uh who try to coordinate loans and deals within themselves to uh or an array of countries it includes australia austria belgium canada denmark finland france germany ireland israel italy japan the netherlands uh norway russia interestingly spain sweden switzerland the uk and the united states